What is up, my love enthusiasts? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. Today, I want to go over the brand new <laughs> STR Coolers banner. One of the main reasons why I want to go over this because there's been some debate if people should start summoning for this or there's people who shouldn't. And let me tell you, uh, the straight answer is you should summon. No joke. You guys should definitely summon for this guy. Like, Cooler in itself, of its, of its, just, just Cooler himself, you pull him, you basically have just pulled the best TUR in the game. I am not joking. This guy, legitimately, is one of the best units that has come out in Dokkan recently. Just because of his, the fact that he's, when he transforms to his final form, he's absolutely broken. I've used him so many times right now, and the fact that, like, he doesn't have, he, the only thing he has is crit in his potential system because of the, uh, because he's STR. I believe it's crit, right? I think it is crit. He doesn't, he doesn't have guaranteed, uh, additionals at all. The fact that when he transforms, he grabs that, and he grabs crit because of the fact that he's doing damage to pure Saiyans and hyper Saiyans is absolutely bonkers, and he raises his attack immensely not to mention that 180 percent attack buff it's stupid i'm telling you now right now it's stupid you give this guy a dupe he's already broken you're just making him even much more of a monster i do recommend just the summon for him but other people obviously the other units in the band are also pretty damn good so let's actually go over through this let's actually like just go through them all but uh before we go through that Make sure you guys hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button as well for <laughs> for more daily content on this channel. Let me show you this right now. We're close to 1.5k. Let's make it happen, baby. Anyway, so this is the brand new banner. This banner, absolutely fire. One of the best banners that I've seen in recent. The last time a banner was this good was when Trunks' Zamasu came out. And let me tell you this right now. Global players... If you've been saving up, even after the uh, 300 million uh, download celebration, this is the this is the next banner you should save up for because this banner is absolutely fire. And the fact that like Trunks is a monster is literally the next banner on Global has been confirmed. Yeah, that's the uh, yeah. Go crazy, global players! You're gonna have fun. I do recommend for the trunks. I actually, I should, I'll make another video going over those two banners as well. But for right now, we're gonna go over this for JP players. This banner, obviously, you have the brand new, uh, the brand new cooler, Thouser. I believe that's how you call him, right? Thouser. I think that I need mean, a scouter. Well, shouter, whatever. Uh, we have the brand new Namek Goku, who is his first time coming back. This is the third time for Kid Goku to come back. Uh, this is also the third time for AGL Metal Cooler. And then we have Golden Frieza, who's been on a lot of banners, but he's actually damn solid. I'm not going to lie. He's really good. He's he's still one of the best units to run for Resurrected Wars. He's the only good, uh, uh, what do you call it, a leader for that team. He's the only good leader. This guy is the only good leader. And I know there's like the, the LR Broly, but it's not like a true leader skill. This one, this guy is, and you run him with the Broly, yeah, he's Broly's gonna be hitting, hitting even harder. Like, goddamn. Also, we also have the we also have the original OG 120% physical extreme leader, Cooler. Now this guy, I'm telling you this right now, flat out. This guy is literally the best linking partner for this guy. Like, when he transforms, when this, when this mofo decides to transform, his best linking partner is the physical cooler. They both share the, sa the same exact uh, link skills. And the fact that they're just like, they're giving each other like a buff. Yeah, it's really good. So what's really interesting about this guy, especially this whole banner, especially with this brand new, um, the brand new cooler. Since his active skill is a transformation, you could honestly keep one of them, one of the uh, coolers, if you bring a double lead uh, cooler for, uh, cooler team. If you bring this guy, and then you also have one guy, uh, one of the other units transform, 
honestly, you're good to go because you could use this ba this base form cooler who's not transformed into the actual um the support type leader support type um unit because when cooler does transform he loses that su support type passive so if you keep this guy it's something he is transformation boost you're gonna face up one enemy or at least two dude you're you're good to go this is like the best support type unit you can have especially for super battle you just keep one transform the other one just keep it as a support type unit he oh, he raises his uh he lowers attack and defense every time he uh um every time he uh he super attacks like yeah he's gonna be very viable like just linked up with the regular cooler not to mention when you transform him like obviously they're gonna have the same type of uh, link skills as well like you can see right here there's there's uh strong plan there's conquest big bad bosses brutal beatdown and amorphosis they're sharing the same thing they are absolutely sharing the same thing so this is also his best linking partner if you keep him um at base form you keep the other one at uh you know at uh what do you call it at, at transformation like it's, it's they're the best like you can't you can run both of them or even just as well the uh, physical cooler like the physical cooler also has the same uh same uh, deal besides shocking speed shocking speed is the only difference i believe right correct if i'm correct right shocking speed is the only yeah shocking speed is the only difference but uh yeah basically this is his best partner if you decide to not if transform one of them um also we have a uh, thouser yeah it is thouser um thouser very good if you pull him he's not bad especially if you want to run the conqueror of terror uh category but this guy literally like every other unit that's been coming out with these banners there's also there's also the secondary unit if you don't pull the main guy you pull this guy the other secondary unit you can still run the the, the category but this guy definitely is meant to be run with the cooler like if you pull this guy definitely you could you could run cooler because um you're gonna have you have the friend cooler lead and then or you, if you have your own like again like this cooler you're fine like this guy he's gaining attack defense per conqueror terror category ally and he the only time he's able to launch a secondary uh two additional attacks if there's a cooler on the team so this guy's definitely meant to have that like this whole long passive right here it's meant if you have another cooler once it, once you have that it just things unlocked best the best unit to have right here on the team not to mention we have the the return of namek saga super saiyan goku this guy i finally pulled on stream and let me tell you right now best <laughs> i can finally run super saiyan super saiyan literally it's gonna be the most it's the bro most broken team in the game because of the fact that he just the the man himself I, the, the team is just broken like you cannot tell me like oh i i pulled something bad if you pull him no i'm not so i'm like look at this no so i'm like look at this this is all this is super saiyan this is super saiyan do you see any top tier units i see top tier units even if you, you're talking about top tier units who are not even dokkan they're not awakened like there there's a lot of top tier units here like even gogeta's here like you cannot tell me that at all that they're not top tier this unit this whole category is broken actually now that i'm thinking about it what about lr gohan wait 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 wait, wait. I'm, I'm curious about lr gohan does he lose the um does he lose the super saiyan no he doesn't he still gains it at super saiyan 2 that is still good okay yeah so yeah that this unit is absolutely great he's there he's fantastic obviously kid goku fantastic uh unit but the problem with him is that um his two categories they're good but people don't like running it which is fine but if you ever need to have someone with dragon ball or youth you're definitely gonna be having a hard time because it's just it's so situational to find people to have a unit like this and now there he started to pop up a lot more which is really nice but at the same time he's not um he's not very easy to track down at the same time but if you pull him he's absolutely good the fact that below 59 percent you get a chance to um to do to activate his after skill and it's an at is a it's a guaranteed crit if you do it at the same turn so uh yeah he's uh he does really well he's a good he's good unit not bad unit at all 
Next, we have AGL Metal Cooler. I don't think I need to say much about this guy. We have all know him. Goresh loves him. We all love him. This guy is a monster. He came out last Halloween, and <laughs> most likely for Globe, he's going to come out at the same time. Yeah, this guy is absolutely great. Like, once you have him, one of the best um, transforming units in the game because, yeah, he does transform. He's a monster. Like, if you get him with one dupe, he's pretty damn good. I have him with one dupe. Hopefully, I can try to pull another one. But, you know, it, you just never know what could happen. Um, also, AGL, AGL uh, Golden Frieza. Angel Golden Frieza. AGL? It Golden Frieza. Angel Golden Frieza. God damn, I can't talk. But, yeah, he's also a really good unit. Like, this guy, definitely, like, if you pull him, it's not a big shaft. The only time it's a big shaft is that if you pull him... And you already have him rainbow. Even if you don't have him at rainbow, he's still a good unit. He's very viable. He's really good. Look at his attack stat. Look at his health. Look at his defense. You cannot tell me that like, oh, I pull the shaft unit. No, he's really good. The problem is that he's been on a lot of banners. But even for, for him being on a lot, of, a lot of banners, for someone like me, I finally pulled my dupe after a year and a half of ever pulling my first one. So, yeah, I mean, like, I, I, I was like, oh, I don't, oh, man, I pulled this unit. But at the same time, I'm like, oh, <laughs> my first dupe. I'm actually quite happy about that. So, yeah, like, he's not bad. The attack and defense of 70% really good, okay? Let, let's just get out of the way. 70% really damn good. Um, he, not to mention his passive skill, um, he gives, um, um, 150% attack and 50% defense. And he's any super super uh, super class allies and enemies are negative 50%. That's the drawback to him is allies. So even if you have Resurrected Warriors, he has some allies there, you're going to lose 50% attack, which sucks. I wish they removed this and it was just the enemies. And that would have been like, yeah, this guy's the best unit. He's really fucking great. Like, by far, like, he's a good, good pull. And then we're on to the last unit right here. This is the original OG 120% physical extreme leader cooler, final form cooler. This guy, absolute monster. He is still one of the best 120% leads that has that has uh, aged very, very well. Like this guy, he's aged tremendously well. Like you cannot tell me like, oh, he's a he's a big like shaft if you pull him. No, he's really good. He's a, he was a shaft for me because I did I already rainbowed him on my uh, JP account and within a year somehow. So I'm like, I, well, uh, I don't, I, I have no use for him. Like I, I was hoping, well, actually there's a use for him. I can use him for the, uh, the world tournament final form cooler to raise up his SA, but that's about it. But yeah, this guy, he's absolutely really good. Like you, you pull him. Yeah. Uh, a <laughs> hundred, a hundred percent of attack and defense plus, and launches an additional attack, which has a, has a chance to becoming, has a 10% becoming a super attack. Uh, I'm telling you this right now, just give him additionals and crits as a full balance. He's going to be doing great. He's he's going to be doing really great. He's going to be doing uh, super attack like crazy. That 10%, by the way, even when I have him, when I have him without a dupe, that 10% activated a lot for me. So, uh, yeah, this is a good, good unit to have. Even if you don't have him any dupes, just give him the SA-10. Yeah, yeah, uh, pretty damn good unit. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's going to be it for the rundown of this banner. I would have to say, yes, this guy, it, this this banner is worth summoning on. You do not want to miss out on any of these units. These units that they have released right now is the equivalent of how Trunks is a monster banners are like. These are top tier units. People want these units. I mean, people probably don't want the AGL Frieza and maybe the cooler, uh, the final form, because they've been around so long that you probably have the rainbow. But that doesn't mean for the rest of them. The rest of like the rest of the units are on here. Absolutely fire. Like they they're top tier units. <laughs> uh Thousand's uh is questionable, but he's only like good because he you need to run with the cooler. Obviously the cooler's better. But uh Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you liked today's video. If you did, hit that like button. Also, hit the subscribe button as well. Leave in the comments below. Tell me if you're going to actually summon on this banner. If you did, what did you pull? Because, God, this banner, I've seen people in my Discord talking about, like, I pulled cooler. I'm just like, GG, get out of the banner now.
just get out unless you want to keep pulling because if you if you want to get out you can get out if you want to keep pulling keep pulling this banner is absolutely crazy anyway guys i'm your host Tula for brandon have yourself have yourself a goddamn good one and i'll see you guys next time